Alright, so our next problem is what is the velocity and direction of the tidal current at Old Ferry Point, New York at 1340 Eastern? Um, this is not an introductory video on how to solve currents. I'll just say, by way of a very brief introduction, say there was this mythical island around here, um, and you were in charge of developing tidal current tables. Well, if you were to write a page for every little town on that island, your book would be super thick, right? But if you want to keep your book a reasonable distance, a reasonable thickness, if you just kind of publish the times for your capital city, and then publish offsets, you know, plus five minutes, minus three minutes, plus one hour. If you publish the offsets, the user can do the math and you can have a shorter book. So that's the, uh, the general idea there. Now the tidal current tables are set up um, with some introductory material. Table one is those like capital cities, Boston, Cape Cod, the big cities, right? And then uh, table two in the back is where it's gonna list all these offsets for our little towns, right? And then table three is where we can solve uh, the velocity of the current at any time. Uh, this is how I recommend we kind of go after this. If we go with a grid pattern, and up here we look for our, uh, our desired offsets. All right, that's gonna be table two, uh, table two. yeah, sorry. Um, this is gonna be our reference station which is table one. And then this is gonna be math, where we apply some offsets. And this will be down here, answer the question. Usually it involves table three. So this is kind of how we lay out our problems. We're gonna look uh, at the offsets necessary for our titles station. Uh, we'll find our reference, we'll do some math, and then we'll answer the question there. So in this case, we're looking for Old Ferry Point. Uh, it's in New York, I have no idea where that really is, so I'll use the uh, tidal current tables, and in the back of it, I'll just look up Old Ferry Point. So it looks like it's reference station 3071, uh, and that's what we'll get started with. So we said that was reference station 3071. So in table two, we look for 3071. Here's Old Ferry Point, and it's got time differences for the minimum before flood, otherwise known as slack, the flood, the minimum before ebb, otherwise known as slack, and then the ebb, and then speed ratios, and then degree uh, directions for the flood and the ebb. So I'll go ahead and recreate that information in here. So we've got a slack, flood, slack, and ebb in here. And it looks to me like our offsets for Old Ferry Point are minus 123, uh, minus 37, minus 02, and minus 38. All right. And then it gives speed ratios. So for the flood, we're going to multiply everything by 0 0.5. And for the ebb, we'll multiply it by 0 0.3. And then over here, Sorry, I didn't have that on the camera. Here's the speed ratios, the 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. And then here are the directions. So the flood is a direction of 0 0.76, and the ebb is a direction of 240. So 0 0.76, 240. All right. So the next step uh, in our strategy is going to be to look for the reference station up here. And in this case, the reference station for Old Ferry Point, if you scroll up, you'll find it. It's Hellgate. Sounds ominous. So in the title current tables, I come to February 5th for Hellgate, and I'm going to try and reproduce uh, the times of the slacks and floods here. So we were looking for a time of uh, 1340 on the 5th of February. All right, so around that time, you know, it's not exactly listed, so it looks like there's a slack at 10.33. Then a flood at 13.34. And that looks like it was 3.0 knots. And then another slack at 16.26. 
So our time of uh, 1340 looks like it'll fall somewhere in there. The problem is you gotta remember these offsets. You still have to apply these offsets to it. So down in this column is where we do the math, right? And so up here, it looks like I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose these two here. Um, so we've got a flood at 1334 and I need to apply an offset of minus 37 minutes. All right, so if I do that math out, I get 1257 for my flood. And if you need to pause the video to do the math uh, on paper, that's fine. Um, looks like for the slack, it's at 1626. And now this is a slack before an ebb. The next current here would be an ebb, right? Flood, slack, ebb. So I need to choose this correction right here. Minus two gets me to 1624. Uh, and then for the intensity, the slack water is uh, zero knots and the flood was uh, 3.0 knots times 0 0.5, 1.5 knots. So I've got kind of my um, time of max flood, 1257, my max intensity 1.5 and my slack time. So just a quick note, if you look back on the problem, it says what will be the velocity and direction of the tidal current? Two of our answers have a direction of 076. So we know we're pretty close to the flood time, which is a direction of 076. So you could even just get rid of choice A and B, and if you had to guess, you could guess. So is it going to be 1.4 knots or is it going to be 1.0 knots, right? So our max flood is 1.5. And now we'll use table three over here to determine the exact value. So looking at table three in the back of the uh, tidal current tables, table three gets you the velocity of the current at any time. And it's got two tables, table A, table B. Down here it says table B is for Cape Cod Canal, Hellgate, which is what we're using, and a few other places, whereas table A is for everything else. So we're gonna use this table and our variables are the interval between slack and desired and the interval between slack and max. So we need to find those now. So the interval between slack and max and the interval between slack and desired. So if we have those two times, we're gonna get a correction out of it. All right, so it looks like between slack and max here, between the slack and the flood, it's from 1624 to 1257. So 1624 to 1257. If we do that math out, we'll have three hours and 27 minutes from slack and max. And then if we do slack and desired, so slack again was um, 1624 and the desired time 1340 how much time um, elapses there well, that's going to be two hours and 44 minutes so if you look back into table b on um, table three velocity of current at any time, interval between slack and max, interval between slack and desired, you can kind of uh, come up with your correction. And so the slack and max was uh, 327. So there's no kind of exact value in there, but uh, we'll choose the closest value, 320. And then the interval between slack and desired was 244. So it looks like our correction is gonna fall somewhere between like 0.9 and 1.0. So if we just said it was a correction of uh, 0 0.95, what we do is we take this correction and we apply it to the maximum current. So 1.5 times 0 0.95. If you do that out on the calculator, you end up with 1.4 knots as the final answer. So looking back to the question, what's the velocity and direction of the tidal current? 1.4 knots, that matches with our speed, and 076 matches with our direction for that. So I know this was a very quick pass-through on a tidal current problem, which can be tricky. Refer to other videos for introductions on how to do that. But in essence, up here in block one, we write down our offsets, which we get from table two. 
for our very specific location. Over here, we write down our reference station, Hellgate, Cape Cod Canal, Boston, something like that. Down here, we apply these offsets to this reference station. So we'll come up with, in essence, the times and the intensities of the current at our location, Old Ferry Point. And then finally, we use this block to solve the problem, table three. Interval between slack and max, interval between slack and desired, use the table to come up with a correction, and then apply that correction to your time uh, to your maximum current over here in block three, and you'll end up with your answer. So again, refer to other videos if you need an introduction or the references, but uh, this is how I recommend solving current problems.